What's going on everybody? It's Inferno here with a brand new Pokemon Uranium video for today. And last time we got ambushed by sea by surfing sea ninjas. And we managed to, you know, take down their leader, so that's great. Now we're here on to Route 13. If you know what that means. New Pokemon to find. Let's see let's see what, what we get. Hey, it's a psychic, right? I think it's a psychic. We should be I th I think we're pretty close to our next gym leaders let's just fight these guys so you know train up a little bit all right all right all right all right uh so let's just a beat up i think a beat up might be able to you know kill N very nice Ooh. oh that's great and we defeated psychic all right great now i think i still have a repel on so we should be fine with oh uh do i want to use another repel not quite yet. A rich kid. Move aside, peasant. You are blocking my view. Let me just. Oh god, it's an umbrella. Um. Uh, let's switch out with Jean. Jean's our best bet. Because for one, it's got leech seeds, so that should be able to, you know, whittle down its health a little bit. Yeah, very effective. Alright, let's use Leech Seed real quick. Alright, great. A uh, bit of HP for me, and a bit of HP loss for you. Now, I'm not gonna use Aerial Ace, even though it technically is super effective, because Imprilla's ability... I forgot what it has. But for those of you who saw my my Primate Evolve, Imprilla's ability is unique to this game, allowing, it, allowing its attack stat to be raised up by one stage whenever hit with a physical move. So, gonna try to not hit it with a physical move. I don't want it. I don't want it dealing as much damage as it already does. Look at that. I think it is almost 30 damage. Beaten by a mere commoner. What are you gonna do? You can do rage about it. All right, let's go over here. Um, uh, fair lass, would you be kind as to battle? There we go. Ah, oh, you found me back in the sunlight. Guess it's time for a battle. Alright, great. I I just wanna knock you Oh come on, it's an SO10. Dang. I wanna send in Sparky, but he is a bug type and his defenses aren't all that great. So I'm gonna go in with Hephaestus. Rock slide that thing. It should be knocked out. Oh so close. And a slash. Alright, let's just slash you. And boom, bye bye, adios. SO10 fainted. Tarzan has his game experience. A Chorus Seed. That's great. Let's get Gene all the way back up to that nice 123 degrees health. Now just Giga Drain it real quick. It's a rock water it's a water rock type, so it it's it's gone. Adios. Bye bye. Alright, a cell kid. Um let's send in Spark it. I don't know why, just Cell Kit seems like it might be a lot weaker than Gardekit, so it might be useful to... That that doesn't look like it evolves into Gardekit. Do, do do I shot? Let's Thunder Fang it. And... Oh, it's a Water type! Great! Super effective, and we beat Lady Laka, La, Laka, whatever. It takes a lot of dedication to get a body this far. I came from the mountains up north, looking for strong trainers to challenge. Way laid. Hey, look at that. Berries and Dragon Claw. I have the perfect. I know exactly who I'm giving that to. Teach Dragon Claw to Hephaestus. And you know, let, let's let's actually leave with Hephaestus. He's actually for for being my starter, he's actually a bit under level. Gene is absolutely above him. So let's go face off against this dude, but real quick, I'm just gonna get these berries. Nice. Nice. Alright, now we can fight against this dude. Ace Trainer, I think. Hey, you! Which side are you on? Alright, Ace. No, that's not an Ace Trainer. That's a Dragon Tamer. Thank goodness we taught Hephaestus Dragon Claw. Let's use it on turn land. That's fun. Don't... That's your only Pokemon. Alright, great. Huh, you might have won, but that was a fluke. I will call you for a rematch. Next time you won't be so lucky. Alright, I'll just come in with my Hephaestus and sweep you. I want to use a repel, but I don't know 
Okay, well, guess not. Yeah, okay. Here's our encounter. It's a spritzy. Hell. Fine, but I mean, it's it's a Pokemon. Uh, who knows? We might need fairy type in the future, maybe. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um. Oh, uh, no. Hey, why does he do, cool, do a cool trick? Heck, it's wall of fire. Oh, that's cool, but the question is, can you throw fire? Hey, that's great. You got a fire oak. Congratulations, you played yourself. <gasps> Boom, there it goes. Ah, beautiful, great. I love it. You're gonna stand in a Hephaestus, an Arcules. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm gonna go into Cassie, okay? Let me use Surf on you. Ow. Okay, I forgot Achilles is like really fast, so Ooh. let's use Surf and it should be bye bye now. It's four times effective, so that's great. Hell, I burned my tongue. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing you can't really throw fire. Hey, look at that! There's another psychic dude. All right. Hey, buddy. Do you see what I see? Um, nah, I I don't know. What do what do you see, Curio? You have a Paradio. You're a psychic type person. I'm gonna ouch. Okay, you just lowered my HP by two. Nice. Hey, what the? A masking? Okay, that's still gonna kill. Nice. Alright, beat up. Nice! Alright, Paradio fainted. The masking gave more experience than the Paradio. I can't believe it! Psychic Pokemon are some of the toughest types to train. You have to earn their respects before they obey orders. Alright, a uh, police officer man. Hi. Someone has lost their Eevee inside the labyrinth, and Tandor Police is doing a search. You can't go inside the cave right now. Oh, um, okay, well, then I guess we're going this way. Oh, look, there's a trainer right there. A Jack Deary. Inferno already fought a wild Pokemon in the air. Dang it. Uh, hello there. Uh, you guys aren't gonna battle me. All right, that's great. Um, ooh, Pokeball. Hyper Potion, nice. Ah, it looks like a challenging trainer. Ready, Gale? Um... Oh, it's a cool couple, Abe and Gale. S Hoten and Splendifowl. Hey! You guys are flying types. Splendifowl looks like it's faster. S Hoten looks like it's a bit more HP based, so. Hey, that's great. Did, did Splendifowl's. Okay, no, it, it, it did hit. Nice. Ooh, a crit. S Hoten flinched, and both of them flinched. Hey! That's pretty good. All right, let's use Slash on Splendifowl and Sparky. Use uh, uh, electricity bites. That is the end of our relationship. Oh, okay. Um, look at that. How could you do this to me? I don't have time for losing like this guy. Hello there, kind sir. You remind me of somebody I saw on TV. Hey, that's pretty cool. Could have been my dad. S51. You're a steel type. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. Boom. Gone. Adios. Oh, nice. Goodbye. I guess I confused fiction with reality again. Okay. Hey, look, it's an item. Uh, an HP up. Hey, that's perfect for Hephaestus. Nice. All right. Wait, what's that? Oh, is that Vanova Town? Ooh. Ooh. We're in Vin- Oh, wait, Vinovo Town? That's from a different game. Vanessa City. The beautiful, watery city. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I mentioned you guys this, but I have a bike now. Hey, sorry, a white bird Pokemon, but then it disappeared. Uh, my SO10? Yeah, it, it, it disappeared too, from me once. They say the gym leader is also starting to the theater, though I don't know who it is. Huh. So, we're, like, the gym is gonna be theater-based. Cool. But we have to- please don't tell me we have to do, like, Pokemon contests. Here yeah, now, you look like a bright young trainer. I consider myself an expert on Tandor Myths and Legends. Huh. M by Tauto, Lanthan, and Actin, your ain't or no thanks. Uh, let, let's go in order. Ah, by Tauto. A well-documented one. Baitacho is said to be a giant serpent Pokemon that lives at the bottom of the river in East Tandor, although there are records of traveling to West Tandor as well. 
It's supposedly a fire and water type Pokemon. The heat from its scales gives life to the river and makes the waters glow bright at night. Although there are some tales of boats gone missing in the night when it gets hungry. Would you like to hear about it? Uh huh. A water, a fire water type like, like Volcanion and the giant serpent. I think uh like the giant serpent from Norse mythology. Cool. Ah, uh, Acton and Langton, twin brothers. The rare metal Pokemon. Each are supposedly a thousand years old. Legend has it that they crawled out of the Earth's crust and taught man the use of metals. Supposedly another of their kind lives in the Sinnoh region and is known as Heatran. So it's like a little trio. Nice. Nowadays, they are said to dwell within the volcanoes of Tano. That's how Man Actinite got its name. Uh, let's, let's listen to the last one, Urine. Urine sounds like Uranium. I've never heard of any Pokemon with that name. Dude. It's bright and don't miss some legends. Um, alright, well, um, I guess that's everything I need to know about you. Bike time. Hello there, ma'am. Do you know of a Pokemon called Titanite? Yes, I saw one, and I'm sad that I didn't catch it. I'm searching all over for one. I'll trade you a guard gift in exchange. Um, I don't have any. Uh, I just wanted to heal up real quick. And, um, I mean, hey, we made it to the nicest city. You know what? You, you know what we should do? Let's check out the gym real quick. Let's, let's go into the gym. Hey there, sport! Here's the sixth gym you'll have to beat for the Tandor Gym Challenge. And boy, oh boy, it's a doozy. You have to rely on your wits for this one. These slippery polished floors make you slide all over the place. Not only that, but you'll have to be wary of trap doors and disguises aplenty. Then there's a matter of gym leader. No one knows who they might be. But supposedly, they use a lot of psychic types. Good luck. Hey, psychic types. Wouldn't you know that I have a Tauros. Alright, let's put you up front to face our first challenger. Hello there. This above all, to thine own self, be true. Oh no, I thought this was a psychic gym, not a fucking fairy type gym. Hephaestus, come on out. Please, take this thing down. Oh my goodness, level 40, I am under leveled. Uh oh. Okay, it used side beam, ouchie, ouchie. You know, it'd be cool if Hephaestus could learn crunch. That would be a nice move. Hey, Tara's level 38. Alright, bit of experience, and Duplicat. Have I seen a Duplicat? No, Duplicat. Oh, uh, looks like it does, I don't know, something. Oh, we could, it's a Ditto. Okay, Duplicat, yes, I, I, I see now. Oh, <gasps> it was so close. Come on, one more revenge. Yes, oh, it's faster. I'm faster, that's great. A Taros gained experience. And that's it, alright, nice. Well, I'm gonna go, you know, train up a little bit. Uh, before next episode, and next time we're gonna go face off against these things, against uh, the trainers. And um, in the meantime, th thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode after I've trained up a little bit. So um, it'll be fun. All right, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, stuff. Uh